Hello everyone, my name is Mesa Sermon and welcome back for more Pokemon Crystal. Last time... We... Battled a weird tree that was in the middle of this area here. And we went back and kind of explored a few things early game and... Yeah. And we also got something that will be very important for later in regards to an evolution. Yeah. This time... We're pretty much finally going to be setting off towards new territory here. So... We'll be heading up on the northern part of Route 36 here. Or Route 37, rather, sorry. If I remember right, this area is, like, kind of the first, like, step up in the game, like, this part kind of knows you've defeated Whitney. I think the trainers are going to start being a little higher level here. But I don't really mind that too much, considering some of the stuff we've been fighting up to this point has been a little bit on the weaker side, so I don't mind that crit there. It'll be nice to kind of have some more decent, like, higher level things to fight here, so get a little more experience for certain things. And you're using a Clefairy. Um... Yeah, I'll go to Scyther, I guess. Why not? I love you, Clefairy. another one of those battles where Fury Cutter may have been decent to kind of use here, but Headbutt's also really nice too, just... Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love the flinch hacks? Twins Ann and Ann were defeated? Um... Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. Show you how scary that is. Ooh. I'm gonna be dealing with sleeping, huh? Probably a drowsy if I had to guess. Yep. Sure is. This probably isn't the best battle to be in here. I'm gonna try and do something stupid. Put you to sleep first before you even attempt that sort of thing. not gonna do a whole lot of damage. No, Drowsy's bulky, unfortunately. I really do want Wonder to, like, I don't want to say get good, but I really do want Wonder to start proving his worth a bit, because I do like the Bellsprout line a lot. I really do, but it just takes a while to kind of get to that point. This next Fury Cutter might even finish this, actually. Yeah, like, that's how powerful Fury Cutter can be, like, you don't want it setting up multiple times like that. Skyther grew to 17, not bad. And Psychic Greg was defeated. I lost, that's pretty sad. Hey man, sometimes crap happens, you know? Um... Ooh, berries. And apricorns. Why they take some apricorns? Why not? Take a blah apricorn. I know it's supposed to be blue, but it's spelled blah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Growlithe. I forgot you could find. I, I knew you could find Growlithe on like the lore part of this route, like Route 36. But yeah, I kind of forgot it was here as well. Uh, shoot, um... I forgot I don't have Rocky in my party anymore, so I kind of don't have <laughs> another thing that's good against fire types anymore, but... Oh well. There is a Pokémon I will catch later that will be useful against fire types, but... 
Yeah. I don't have a reason why I want to catch this, but I just... I am anyway. Or not. Come on. Pokemon aren't that hard to catch at half health. I stand corrected! Quills, I swear. Okay, I don't like that it's... Why?! Not something I was even planning on using, but sure, I guess. I'll be right back to go heal at Violet City, just because that's, like, right within your sight. All right, back on Route 37 after that embarrassment. And we're already in Ecrotique City. I did not think it was going to be that short of a trek there. Ah, child, have you learned to dance like the Kimono Girls? If you go to their dance theater, an old, an old man will give you something nice, I hear. Ecrotique Dance Theater. Very interesting. Ecrotique has a lot of stuff in it. A historical city where the past meets the present. You know what, since we just heard about it, why don't we check out that dance theater? Why not? Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokémon. I always challenge them, but never even left a scratch. Lastly, if you can defeat all the Kimono Girls, I'll give you a gift. Hmm... Sounds like we're up for a challenge? Man's always with his ride on. He says he wants Pokémon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokémon? <laughs> Kimono Girls are so beautiful, but they have to go through rigorous training. And they have to learn follow customs before preparing in public, but if you love something, anything is possible. That is very much true. We should never give up our dreams for these things. I'm gonna save here, because I have a feeling this could be pretty bad if I remember this sequence as much as I do. Um... You know what? Let me go grab an old friend who might be still... Youngster Joey! This is Joey, got a minute, how are you? Yeah, 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 I know what your Rattata's like, dude. Yeah, I took down a pigeon, so did I, dude. I wanna go meet an old friend. What? Hi, I'm Bill, who are you? Hmm, Chris, huh? If you come at the right time. I've just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? A time capsule was developed to enable trades of the past. You can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So, you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put it simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon into the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at po all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye uh, yeah, that's a thing where you can trade, like, back to the Kanto games, like Red, Blue, and Yellow. Um, yeah, that's a thing you can also do in this game, and you just can't trade anything that didn't already exist in... Like, I wouldn't be able to trade out over, like, one of my Johto Mons over there, or they wouldn't be able to know any new moves that were introduced in this game. But conversely, some stuff, like, that 
can learn the elemental punches. Like, you can teach them the elemental punches in this game and trade them back, and they would still keep those, because they were Gen 1 moves, but a lot fewer things could learn them in those games. So, that's a thing. Anyways, I wanted to bring Rocky back into my party here, because I feel like Rocky may still have some use in with it being around the party after all. Welcome back, old friend. Is it my... Br right, pretty? Oh, a Pokemon battle? I don't remember the levels of these trainers here. I think you can do these here, but yeah, we have five Kimono Girls here. And this wasn't what I thought she was going to send out at all here. Okay, they're level 17. That's about on par with my own levels here. This is a terrible matchup here, I think. Uh, but I don't have anything that's otherwise good in this situation either. Umbreon is the bulkiest of the evolutions. We're going to be fighting all of the trainers that have Eevees here. And... Oh, Pursuit. If you use that last time, that would have hurt a lot. I'm going to be trying for a bit of a silly strategy here, and... Yeah, just... Doing this. Umbreon has a lot of defense for what it is. Like, this is a bulky, bulky boy here. So... But I don't... If I switch out right now, that pursuit is just going to really, really wreck me here. So, that's kind of why I'm against that idea. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna use a potion here, actually. I hate doing this, but, like, that Umbreon's Pursuit will... Or maybe even this Tackle here. Okay, no, Tackle didn't do as much there, but... This might be a little bit of an evil strategy to use against this thing, but honestly, I don't have anything better. Well, why am I saying that? I have Scyther now. Oh, well. <laughs> That uh, was kind of an, an annoying battle there, but... Might not be the worst thing, though, anyway. Don't have any Pokémon left. Um... I guess I'll lead with... Elekid, anyway, just in case if... Yeah, there's a lot of these Pokemon that are kind of on the difficult side to deal with. A lot of these evolutions. Okay, thank God I led with the right option for this, at least. This probably won't even do that much either, just because, yeah, Vaporeon's a bit of a bulky, bulky boy in of himself as well. Okay, it's just using Tackle. Not bad EXP there, Izanagi. You're stronger than you look. Um, I think for the rest of these, I am probably going to lead with Rocky here, just... Onyx is good against a few of these Kimono Girls here, it's just... Umbreon was not the one I expected the red Kimono Girl to lead off with there. Kimono Girl Miki sent out Jolteon, there we go. Unfortunately, I don't know a ground move right now, but that's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't think a Jolteon can really hurt an Onix that much. It's just gonna be accuracy spam. Can you not with the freaking sand attack, please? 
Okay, thank you so much, Rocky. Thank you so much. 1,000 EXP. That's, like, what helps. Like, if you use this Traded Onyx, that's what helps it be a little more... <laughs> like, stable there. I always want to dance with my Pokémon. Of course, I also train them, too. Little girl, Sal? Espeon! This could be rough. I gotta hope Skyther can take a couple of hits. Uh... Okay, yeah. Oh, come on, seriously? Espeon's a very, very, very hard-hitting Pokemon here. Not if it's using Tackle, though. I can definitely take that a bit better. Thank you for that. Thank you so much for that. I thought that was going to do way more damage than that, though. <sighs> Do I have a Super Potion? Yes. I hate abusing these kinds of items here, but that was really, really... Uh, okay, Tail Whip I'm not as worried about. This thing would hit way harder if it just stuck to using Confusion here. Unfortunately, Fury Cutter's power reset there, but I think it should finish next turn here. If they don't get critted here... Okay, that should finish it there, though. Thank you. Alright. Oh, so close. I almost had you. And lastly... You have lovely Pokemon. May I see them in battle? This, thankfully, I think should be the easiest of them. I'm saying that I'm, I'm knocking on wood, but... If you can't tell the last evolution, it is... Flareon? And I think an Onix can probably handle this pretty well here. Since, you know... Super effective damage here. <laughs> You're gonna keep using Sand Attack there. But that's it. And Rocky gained another boosted amount of EXP there. Level 20, though, which is very nice. And Naoko is defeated. Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left. The way you battle was like watching a dance. It's a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take it. HMO3! This is a very good move. This is Surf. It's a move that lets a Pokemon swim across water, which we cannot use right now. Trust me, this is a good move, though. I don't think anything on our team can learn this. But, if you have a water type, though, this is such a great move for this point in the game. Yeah, nothing I have on my team can learn it, but great move. One of the best water moves in the game. I think it's easily the best of the HMs, and yeah, it's just such a wonderful, wonderful thing if you can get it at this point. With all that being said, that's going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Crystal. Next time! We're going to keep exploring more Ecrotique City and seeing what happens. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.